are quite right. I shall take your wise words to heart, sir. They will certainly be most helpful in my next performance. You are welcome, Miss Yun. Your willingness to hear suggestions is indeed impressive. It's no wonder your opera performance has only been getting better. No, I'm afraid that's not always the case. Though I am still young, I can be quite arrogant at times. I do not always accept advice so readily, but your wisdom has spoken to me. Shen Li! We're back! Ah, you've returned. Hmm? You are also acquaintances? Yes, we sure are! E. Not everyone gets the privilege of meeting someone so knowledgeable and discreet as Mr. Zhang Li. You are indeed well-connected, Traveler. I am flattered, Miss Yun. It is an honor for an ordinary person like myself to have met the Traveler. Whoa. Did he really just say that? I'm sure you must have matters to discuss. I have an appointment with Xinyan, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave. Very well. Goodbye, Miss Yun. See you around, Yunjin! So, tell me, what have you learned from your trip? Well, we ask around and... Hmm, I see. Well, Traveler, what do you make of all their opinions? I can think you can weave them to a story. Yeah! Paimon already started creating her own story on the way here. The goal is to convince Kuching to rest more with just a simple story, right? If that's the case, then Paimon thinks we can use food as our theme. Think about it. Who doesn't like delicious food? And when it comes to eating, everyone has an opinion. It's the perfect angle for our story. Classic Paimon wisdom. <laughs> Paimon knows just what to write. Let's say there's a chef in Lua who's very talented at cooking. He opens a massive restaurant in Liyue Harbor, and lots of customers come every day, so he's always super busy. Then, uh, well, uh, how should the story go from there? His food gets shit. Ooh, that's good. Uh, but wait, didn't we say he's really good at cooking? That wouldn't make sense. It's your story. There's no need to jump to the conclusion. Why don't you elaborate more on the chef? More about the chef? You mean both good and bad things? Yes. To gain one's empathy, there must be familiarity. I would like to understand this chef character of ours a little deeper. Hmm. Paimon didn't think this far. Uh, why don't you take it from here? Since you've spoken with others familiar with Kuching, why don't we integrate their thoughts into your story? That will allow it to become all the more convincing. Um, okay. Let Paimon think. Hmm. What did Cloud Retainer say? As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. <laughs> That was quite poetic, Paimon. Bravo! <laughs> oh, now Paimon remembers? Cloud Retainer said that if she spends all her efforts working on a machine with no time to test the outcome, then she'd be like a chef who doesn't get to try their own food. Problems are bound to pop up. Yes, it is most unwise to put the cart before the horse. She said, so let's make that happen to the chef in the story. He's great at cooking, but he can't enjoy his own food. Hmm. But there must be a reason why he doesn't partake in the delicacies he makes. Right. It's because he's super busy. He receives the customers, he takes the orders, and he does all the cooking himself. <laughs> that should keep him busy enough. He's so busy every day that he doesn't even have time to take a break, which obviously also means he doesn't have time to eat. Yeah, a bit extreme. 
Hey, it's just a story. Besides, it's supposed to leave a powerful impression. Kinda like fireworks. Yes. The chef is unwilling to delegate tasks to others. He's overconfident about his own cooking abilities and tries to accomplish everything on his own. Paimon already kinda feels sorry for him. Yeah, it makes my work. Oh, right! That's what the chef doesn't understand. And there's another saying. Um, what was it again? Oh, yeah! A rested worker is an efficient worker. That's what Yamfi said. So, the chef gets busier and busier to the point where he can't stand up straight anymore and he has big, dark circles under his eyes. The customers tell him to take a few days off to get some rest, but the chef won't listen. His judgment is clouded by the chores before him. He is oblivious to mountains in the distance, the bigger picture. Eventually, the chef falls ill, and his cooking becomes far worse than when he started. The customers can't convince him to rest, and they don't like his cooking anymore. So they stop coming to his restaurant. Rest is always of great importance. Although we may come across various difficulties in our lives, pushing ourselves is never a good modus operandi. The story is quite simple, without embellishment, yet deeply meaningful. If our listener is sensible, then she should quickly grasp the meaning contained within. You're saying Paimon made a good story? Sincerity can allow one to see clearly and earnest advice can provide sound direction. The story is indeed good. The Yuhang is an adroit leader. I am certain she will understand the message you are trying to convey. Really? Score one for Paimon! Given that the case involving the treasure hoarders has come to an end, she is inevitably tired. Now will be the ideal moment to speak with her. If all goes well, I think your story will be a success. Hear that? Zhang Li says Paimon's story has what it takes. If anyone knows a good story, he does. Quick, let's go find Kuching. The matter has finally come to an end, but we mustn't lower our guard. Increase patrols around Chingsa Village and coordinate our people at other fireworks locations to prevent any further theft. Yes, Lady Kuching. And by the way, the Ministry has requested the Millilith to increase security along travel routes. How is that proceeding? It's all been taken care of. However, due to various reasons, there are still some blind spots in the city. Have we drafted a new patrol map? Please, give me a copy and I'll look it over when I have time. Understood. The patrol map is still being drafted, but it will be ready soon. Okay. Also, I... Oh, excuse me, Lady Kuching? Your friends are here. Hi, Kuching! Still working? Aren't we going to see the fireworks? Oh, yes. But I thought we'd meet at the Jade Chamber. Why have you come here? Let's look around. Yeah, we walked around the city just like you told us to. It's very nice. But it would be even nicer if you could join us. Do you still have work to do? It's nothing urgent, really. Just some trivial matters. But I wish to get it done as soon as possible. You can leave it to us, Lady Kuching. You've been working hard for a long time, so you should get some rest. If I'm not mistaken, the Traveler is here to remind you to take a break. Obviously. That's right! Something so important that we must speak with you personally, right now! 
Oh, really? In that case... Jingcheng, I'll let you take charge. Thank you. Understood. I'll handle things from here. <sighs> Traveler and Paimon, let's go to the Jade Chamber. The view there is nicer, and it's much more private. Perfect for talking. Well, here we are. What was it you wanted to talk about? We have a story to tell you. Yeah, we want to tell you a story from this beautiful view. What do you say? All right. I'm listening. So it turns out we just heard some big news in Tevat. A very talented chef is in trouble. Oh, is the chef from Liyue? From Liyue Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk, perhaps? No, no. Uh, the chef is from Mondstadt. Yeah, and he's really, really good. He had a restaurant right next to the city gate. He was super efficient, and his cooking was really delicious. So his restaurant had been getting more and more popular. In fact, he became so busy that the worker from the florist next door asked him, Sir, why don't you find someone to help you in the restaurant? But the chef brushed the idea aside, saying that he's the only one that can turn top-quality ingredients into world-class dishes. No one could help him. Hmm. Well, confidence is an essential trait for a good chef. He must be an excellent cook. That's what everyone was saying. But surprisingly, after just six months, no one would dine in his restaurant anymore. Hmm? Shocking, right? Do you have any guess why? Hmm... Maybe the chef had fallen ill, or...? Eh! Wrong answer! You tell her, traveler! Cassius too stubborn. Ding, ding, ding! Yep! It's because the chef was too stubborn. He would keep himself busy every day, and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story? Oh! Um... Yep, that's the whole thing! Oh, it's not a very good story. Hey! Didn't you just say that Paima made a great story? Hmm? Did you come up with that story? Oh, uh, no! We just... Uh... <laughs> hmm. How should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose the ending isn't really surprising. Hmm. Think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but when tasks come to me personally, it is easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. And your judgment is clouded, right? Yes. Up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why from time to time, we need to examine where we are remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm. 
Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And... I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... So? Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks, and enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. The item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. had her personal tailor make it for me. Said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow! It's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. Traveler, please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty yeah. fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. Yeah. Sorry to trouble you again this year. 
No trouble at all. Uh, lantern right. <laughs> Happy lantern right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy lantern right! <laughs> What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Lovely. Really? I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. There's a lot to see, but it won't last, so make the most of it. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make the city look special during the festival. <laughs>